hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore about freeform pen tool as you know pen tool is basically used to create vector paths and shapes and uh, vector for mainly used for vector graphics so when you're having a, you know very specific uh, shape to draw you use the pen tool and pen tool is like very refined tool I mean you have a specific control over the curvatures, tangencies and the anchor points, all that stuff. Uh, while you have freeform uh, a pen tool, which is uh, it's just like a pen, normal pen. And I would like to switch off this magnetic before starting. And just click and drag it and you should be able to see I'm getting a stroke. There is no, nothing like add a point, drag it for. So it's, it's just very freestyle pen. And when I'm ending up, I'm getting a, a path, which is basically later can be converted into a, a selection or you can use that for any other purposes. Like, for example, I want to color correct this part, then I can go this area, I can convert into a selection and then do a color correction of that. Okay, so. Uh, not necessarily you need to I mean uh, use uh, the freeform pen tool instead you can also use a lasso tool there okay so whether you are using lasso tool or you are using the freeform pen tool the way you are giving the the way the shape is ending up is same the only difference uh, we see here is when I'm using the lasso tool, I'm getting a selection. While when I'm using the freeform tool, I'm ending up with a path. Okay. So paths can be converted into a selection or selection can be converted into a path. Just simply click this button in the paths window and your path is now a selection. And a selection can also become a path. So there's no big deal in that so freeform tool yeah you can if you are comfortable in lasso do that then convert into a path or you can use the freeform pen tool and then start using it for drawing some free shapes so um, best suitable for you know uh, writing something that's very nice so we have uh, some options here which are basically explained in the pen tool i'll share the video link in the description you can explore that so i've explained all of them but i'll explain here some options which are not there in that particular video and what's that we have uh, this option called magnetic okay if you are aware of magnetic lasso tool so you have width you have contrast you got frequency and then when you start clicking you're actually ending up drawing this selection along the contrast areas i mean where the color is immediately changing from red to green or anything like that so you can able to cut it like that and then as again you can use any color correction tools there okay so uh, as you are aware of the magnetic lasso tool in freeform pen tool also we have magnetic option so what that actually does is when you start clicking it you get path around along the border of this turban there okay so it's identifying the contrast between this area and that area and that border is filled with the path so we have some options here one is the curve fit right now it is one pixel okay the highest is uh, 10 pixels if you could see we have error tolerance allowed when fitting beziers along the path so let me see what that actually does so you should be able to see I'm drawing this shape along the turban. I'll make sure that I'll complete that turban because it's not not taking much of the time. So you should be able to see the result. 
I could say this is a high fidelity curve that uh, it has got a lot of points actually now let me change this to 10 pixels and see what it is going to do again I'll spend the same amount of time and then get the same result you should able to see the number of points has drastically reduced in this and that's what this curve fit is doing so the lesser value will give you the high precision uh, path uh, the points are less actually okay so let me put that to one pixel again then we have this option called width okay now what that width will do is I'll put right now the width is 10 pixels I'll put it to 100 pixels now if you could carefully see when I am just clicking and dragging okay my cursor is at the turban edge okay but what if if I move the cursor a little bit from the turban edge and then move still I get the curve and how far I can move my cursor from the turban's edge is 100 pixels if I go beyond that then it doesn't respect that turban edge okay so now I could I could just go and then if, if I'm slightly away from the turban still the line is going to create along the edge okay that's the width uh, whereas when you are uh, choosing this width to 10 pixels and then start drawing and when you move it from the curve from the turban hardly at 10 pixels away there's a new point actually it's not respecting the edge here when it is far from the turban edge there okay then we have a contrast so when you are uh, working on a low contrast image which means something like that so the background and foreground there is no much difference in the colors in that case I prefer a high contrast number there and then when we do that the the edges are detected with that so make sure that for the less contrast images use a high contrast value here then we have a frequency which is uh, I can increase this to 25 and then let me go back to the turban now when I am just clicking this uh, edges okay the number of points what it is adding is high and if I reduce this uh, frequency okay the points uh, are very less actually okay so uh, the frequency is set frequency at which points are added to the path is what it is you have pen pressure again which defines use the tablet pressure to change the pen width okay so we have these all options here in the freeform tool a very rarely used tool but again for the sake yeah I'm, I made a video because that tool exists in Photoshop not very important as comparatively with the pen tool